What's good? What's good? I'm back. You're truly one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. The Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much, much more. Today, I'm going to react to a video of one of my favorite YouTubers, Kingdom Reacts. Uh, the video is titled, Radical Feminists Can't Answer One Simple Question. Before we get into that, let's give you a word from Dizzle. That slap. It is that one. That egg. Egg bite talking about this on new drink. They like that's that turn. That lit. That slap. It is that one. That egg. Egg bite talking about this on new drink. They like. They like you can dizzle too. This was a premium luxury liqueur mixed with agave, tequila, French cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. Throw your dizzle on ice, and it's nice. If you want to order your very own bottle or bottles of Dizzle Premium Luxury Liqueur, must be 21 and over. Shipping and handling is included. Go to DizzleBrand.com, click on our locations, and click on one of the top three website links. I recommend Emilio's Beverage. Below that's actual locations in California, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Arkansas. Little Rock, here we come. And the Dizzle Brand merch, also available on DizzleBrand.com, merchandise store, as well as Etsy.com. You can just search for Dizzle Brand or go to etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Dizzle Brand. All right, let's get into it. You be a person who wants to protect women, but you literally can't define what a woman is. <laughs> Hello. I know, uh, right? What would you say to feminists, specifically those I think you would consider biological women who are in support of trans women being? Yeah, see, 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 right there. Those you would consider biological women. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello. Uh, what would you say to feminists, specifically those I think you would consider biological women who are in support of trans women being able to access historically women's spaces like? Uh, female bathrooms and uh, being able to participate in women's sports. Okay, what would I say? Um, let me ask, are, are you... You know, before we get into this, this is the problem I have with this whole trans thing. Trans, biological men can identify as women and go into women's sports and compete. But you know what will never happen? Biological women cannot and will not compete in men's sports. They won't even make the cuts. Let's keep it moving. One of those feminists? I am. Oh, okay. Lucky <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, what is a woman? Uh, somebody who identifies as a woman. Uh, here so we can go. Can I become a woman? Do you have gender dysphoria? Thankfully, no. Oh, my gosh. Gender dysphoria. So, let me get this straight. A zebra is anybody who identifies as a zebra. A uh, mongoose is anything, anybody who identifies as a mongoose. A lion is anybody who identifies as a lion. You know, it's it's really funny to me that, you know, they think that anybody can identify as any gender and sex as they want, but you can't identify as any animals you want, and animals can't identify. Can, can animals identify as people? Can animals identify as people? <laughs> then then no oh but so only if you have gender dysphoria you can identify as a woman it's a medical condition it's a medical yes. condition so anyone at any time can become a woman uh no because well, anyone could have gender dysphoria it's it's you claim it upon yourself yeah anybody could have gender dysphoria I, I, you know what i i am i'm actually thinking i might i might actually have gender dysphoria. So can I become a <laughs> well i wish you the best in your transition and i hope that oh uh, hell that's sarcasm i hate i hate that we're gonna get just the same thing somebody who's gonna dodge the questions you're gonna sit there and use the he's he's gonna continue to put her ideology put a pretty practically put a mirror up in the face this whole time she's gonna say something yep. He's going to give her an example of what she's saying and that she's not going to be able to totally agree with it or disagree with it just because it didn't fit. It don't fit her narrative her, uh, ideologies. Uh, how do I say intention? It accepts you. So let me ask you a question. Um, what is cheating? What is cheating? Mm -hmm. 
I can pull up a dictionary definition. Come on. I'll give an example. Maybe taking something from somebody or a strong person, you know, maybe using their power against the weak. Sure. Somebody okay. using their power against the weak. Got it. Okay. Is Leah Thomas or William Thomas biologically stronger than the competitors that he, she was against? I don't, I don't, I'm not, uh, I don't know about sp that specific situation. Yeah, of course Probably you don't. Probably because she is number one. But even if you don't know about the specific hey. situation, if you just hear it generally like that, you can't give an opinion on that? And this is what I mean by the dodginess, man. Come on, man. Be straightforward. Be straight up. Won the national title. Yes. Okay. Won, well, won after, the national title. after the transition, right? Okay. Is that fair? Yes. So the. <laughs> you know, this is where the double standard comes in. Because once again, biological women that identify as men won't stand a fucking chance to make it in men's sports. They're not even good enough to ride the fucking bench. And that's not sexist. It's facts. It's truth. Other women against the man were born with less bone density, lower testosterone levels. What are they it's supposed not. to do to make it even? Simple question. I would not know on that specific Of course situation. you don't. Right. So there's nothing they can do because men have more testosterone, muscle mass, and bone density. So wouldn't that be cheating? Uh, duh. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, now you know the mm, you know where the mm comes from, right? That uh, mm comes from. Okay, you got me, and that's a very clean, clear answer. Ain't no way to dispute that. She's trying to figure out all of the different equations, <laughs> all of the different responses she could possibly come up with. And she's finding nothing. Gotcha. I just want to hear him ask the question again. Just to see how I go. Uh, right. So there's. You know, the problem with this is. These people that talk about this, that try to bring, you know, this people like this chick that try to, you know, talk about these subjects. They try to, you know act like they're applying these, you know, master degree book smarts to it. And they don't apply any fucking common sense to it whatsoever. They apply no common sense. This is the thing. This is the problem I have with this whole, I can identify as whatever gender I want. And yeah, you can identify as what you want, but guess what? You will never be what, you identify as when it comes to gender and sex and mankind thinks we dictate every single thing on this planet. And I would argue this is womankind pushing this, this transgender thing more than anything. They're the, they're the ones that support it more than anything. Like it is bad shit. Crazy. It's bad shit. Crazy. It goes against the laws of nature. It totally goes against the laws of nature and mankind does not get to dictate things that the laws of nature get to dictate or the things not that they get to dictate things that the laws of nature have dictated for hundreds of thousands of years mankind does not get to dictate every single thing on this planet mankind does not dictate what genders there are and what sexes there are the laws of nature dictate that procreating dictates that reproduction dictates that so yeah i don't even need to hear him ask ask the question to this dumbass chick anymore because she tries to act like she's so book smart but she's dumbing in a bag of bricks because she has no common sense that's the thing you have a master's degree in whatever you want in college if you ain't got a master's degree in common sense you're dumb and being smart in life is based on the decisions you make. I see plenty of people with college degrees that know a lot of a lot of knowledge and, and stuff and make all the dumbest decisions in the world. So I'll never buy I'll never buy into this tr transgender thing. You know, it's one thing like gays. Gays are 
people who are mentally, emotionally, physically attracted to the same sex. But this whole idea that, you know, a man could become a woman, a woman could become a man. No, they could become a, a fake one, a fugazi one, a phony one, a make-believe one, imaginary one, a made-up one. But they can't become a real one. You know why? Because a biological male cannot become a woman and give birth and breastfeed. And a biological woman can't become a man and grow a penis and knock up a woman and procreate. So, you know, until I see that happen, nah, there's nothing to talk about. Case closed. Once again, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Paul Pickett Podcast, and I'm out.